All right, blessed to everybody. See, and this is Daniel Marshall from the Infrastructure Work, bringing to you some news, all right? All right, valuable news, which I think many of you are interested in. All right, veteran broadcaster, Winston DeWitt Williams died. Veteran broadcaster, journalist, raided this jacket, Winston DeWitt Williams has died. He passed away at the Kingston Public Hospital on Sunday morning after a brief illness. He, after a brief illness, he was said to be in his 80s. Williams worked in the local and regional media for over 50 years, receiving several accolades for his work, including the Top This Jackie Award in 1970. He joined Reedy Jamaica, formerly RJR, in the 1963, before leaving three years later for work in Caribbean as a radio host in the Bahamas, where he hosts a program called Music to Remember at ZNS. He returned to Jamaica in 1967 and joined Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation, JDC, as a host of an afternoon show known as The Whip, The Solid Kick. During that stint, he went ahead, he went head to head with Radio Jamaica. During that stint, he went head to head with Radio Jamaica, El Numero Uno, this jacket, Don Toppin. Many of you are familiar with Don Toppin, all right? It was while he was at JBC that Williams also read radio and television news. After various stints at JBC and RGR over the years, Williams, also known as the Conscious One, had a stint at Hot 102 FM in the late 1990s before moving on to Power 106 FM in 2003. He retired from the latter a few years ago, bringing an end to his illustrious media career. Several tributes have been pouring in for the late broadcaster. Cultural, and cultural, cultural entertainment, gender and sports minister Oliver Olivia Brange in a tweet on Sunday described William as a pioneer of Jamaican radio. She added that, I was also, I will always remember that engaged in baritone voice of the whip and the great music he played on radio. Media personality Simone Clark tweeted, R.I.P. Winston Williams, thank you for your contribution to broadcasting media in Jamaica. A stickler for quality and standards and getting it right. Sleep well, she added. Press, press secretary at the office of the Prime Minister, OPM, Naomi Francis said, William dedicated to broadcasting is now etched in the sands of time. Share one tweet, user, salute to a legend. Spent many hours as a boy listening to the conscious one from Kingston. He doesn't stop there because there were several radio personality in this jacket died Sunday, that, that, that's um, this Sunday here, all right? So we move on to another one. Veteran broadcaster Henry Busha Stennett has died. Henry Stennett, a former radio broadcaster, renowned for his iconic voice on morning traffic reports and local radio, has died. He passed away on Sunday morning after healing for some time. Reports have indicated Stennett worked for many years at the Radio Jamaica RGR in various capacity, included as a disc jacket, 
radio announcer, programmers, programs manager, and executive producer. He was also one of the mellow voices behind RJR's 94 FM morning traffic reports for many years. Stenet, popularly known as Busha, eventually left the radio station as a part of its senior management in 2006. Many persons have reacted to his passing and have sent condolences to his family. Just heard that dear Henry Stenet has passed away. His rich voice and gentle manner will always remain with us tweeted communication cons consultant, senior advocate, and communist, Jean Lurichin. He was a wonderful reader at Stella Morris. May his soul rest in peace, she added. Businessman Yannick Page tweeted, I remember his voice as a child going to school in the morning, condolence, may he rest. Another Twitter user, at, at, at Dr. G underscore D, chemist wrote, all the radio personalities we grew up with are dying, condolence to his family. Here is another one. Veteran broadcaster and actress Leonie Farbs has died. Leonie Farbs, the beautiful Leonie Farbs has died. Theater icon and broadcaster Leonie Farbs has died. She was 85. She reportedly died on Tuesday in a tweet a short while ago to his official Twitter page, Prime Minister Andrew Olness said, her name is synonymous with Jamaica and with Jamaican theater and broadcast. She was always an elegant, gracious woman whose voice commands both respect and admiration. The tweet read, we say thanks to Leonie for her contribution to Jamaican arts and culture and we express our deep sadness at her passing, the tweet added. The actress and former radio and television broadcaster was born on June 14. According to the National Library of Jamaica, she grew up in Kingston as an only child. She attended St. George's Preparatory uh, Marywood Elementary School micro practicing school, Kingston Senior School, Excelsior College, and Durham College. Forbes played leading roles in 12 pantomimes and acting plays such as See Mama, Miss Unusual, The Rope, and The Cross, Old Storytime, and Champagne and Sky Juice. The National Library of Jamaica said, Forbes also authored a book called The Re-Entry into Sound, along with Elma Mock Yang, formerly of the UWI's Radio Education Unit. This is a standard text used to train broadcasters all over the Caribbean. Among the honors and awards Forbes received over the years, my Life in the Theater Medal for the Mexican Theater Center of International Theater Institution, Institute for Outstanding Theater Personalities at Latin America and Caribbean, 2001. Order of Distinction, Official Class, Government of Jamaica, 1980. Silver, Silver Musgrave Medal, Century Medal, Bronze Musgrave Medal, 1973. And we move on to another radio personality. Veteran broadcaster Francis St. Justy has died. 
broadcaster Francis St. Justy, who had more than 20 years of experience working on morning radio, has died. Reports are that St. Justy died at the University Hospital of the West Indies on Monday morning. He was a popular host on Fame 95 FM. Oh Lord, we have many more. Trust me. Veteran broadcaster Barbara Gluden has died. Barbara Gluden has died, my people. Veteran broadcaster Barbara Gluden has died. She died on Wednesday night. Gluden, who was also a playwright, died a few days after the passing of her husband, Ansel, who died on April 30th. Gluden was born in 1935 and was inducted into the Press Association of Jamaica's Hall of Fame in, in, in 2013. And they say there's 10, there's 10 things we should know about Miss Barbara Gooden. So let's check the 10 things out and see 10 things to know about Barbara Gooden. As the country remembers Barbara Gooden, the playwright, journalist, and radio talk show host who passed away on Wednesday night, here are 10 things to know about her. One, she was born Barbara Joy Goodison in 1935 to Doris Nee Harvey and Vivian M. Goodison. She grew up in Malvern, St. Elizabeth. Her father worked as a chauffeur and mechanic. Two, on April 3rd, 1960, she married chemist and food technologist Ansel Gluden, a native of Port of Spain, Trinidad. The couple had three children, Lisa, Jason, and Anya, three. One of her sister, Lorna Goodison, is the first female poet, laureate of Jamaica. Four, a distinguished journalist, Gluden was conferred with the order of distinction in the office, in the officer class in 1975 for her contribution to journalism and with the Order of Jamaica in 1992. Five, she was inducted into the Jamaica Press Associate Hall of Fame in 1930. She had also been honored with two separate awards from the Press Association of Jamaica. Six, she began her career at Gleaner newspaper in 1953 working as a reporter. She also simultaneously worked as a communist using the pseudonym Stella at the Jamaica Star. She left journalism in 1978 and worked until 1981 as a director of Jamaica. Uh, as a director Six, as a director of Jamaica Tourist Board. Seven, from the late 1980s, she hosted a radio talk show hotline broadcast by Radio Jamaica, Radio for Sun, RGR 94FM. Gluden in her trademark raps, raps. Key Wise provided brilliant, thought-provoking commentary on cultural and social issues until 2015. She began working in 1965 as a scripter, as a script writer for Jamaica's Little Theatre Movement, also, 
she began working in 1965 as a script writer for Jamaica's Little Theater Movement and also wrote the radio series drama Wrong Move 8. She began working in 1969 as a script writer for, for Jamaica's Little Theater Movement and also wrote the radio series drama Wrong Move. Okay, 9. In 1969, Gruden wrote Moonshine Anansi and eventually wrote 29 script for the National Pantomime, the last being dapper done in, 90, in 2017. 10. She attended St. Andrew High School for Girls. We not done yet. We not done yet. Veteran journalist Winston Babatunde Witter is dead. He died. Veteran journalist Winston Babatunde writer Witter has died. Reports are that Witter passed away while at the University Hospital of the West Indies on Wednesday. Source report that he was hailing for some time. He was 64 years old. The veteran scribe worked at several media houses, including the Gleaner, Jamaica Observer, and defunct publication, Daily News, Jamaica Record, Jamaica Herald, and Sunday Herald. He also did broadcasting as he hosts a nightly show called Shades of the Morning on Irie FM. Witter's popularity, however, soared when he took on the moniker Baba Tunde and hosted a daytime program on Class FM in which he touched on several taboo topics. His journey in journalism was affected, however, when he was involved in a traffic accident which, result, which resulted in him losing his memory. Although recovering from that, in recent years, he never returned to professional fully. Influential, I'm not done yet. There's a lot more here, my people. Overwhelming, unbelievable, unbelievable. So much radio personality passed away in such a short period of time. Together, something is going on. No joke. So check this one out. Influential fashion. Journalist Angel Leon Tully died at 73. Angel Leon Tully, the towering former creative director and editor at large of Vogue magazine, has died. He was 73. Tully's literary agent David Vigliano confirmed Tully's death to USA Today late Tuesday. But no additional details were immediately available. Tally was an influential fashion journalist who worked at Women's Wear Daily and Vogue and was a regular in the front row of fashion shows in New York and Europe. At six feet six inches tall, Tally cut an imposing figure wherever he went. With his statue, his considerable influence on the fashion world, and his bold looks. In a 2013 Vanity Fair spread titled The Eiffel Tower, Tally was described as perhaps the industry's most 
important link to the past. Designer Tom Ford told the magazine, Tally was one of the last great fashion editor who have an in incredible sense of fashion history. He can see through everything you do to the original reference, predict what was your inspiration board. Designer Diana Van Fern Stingberg praised Tally on Instagram writing, no one saw the world in a more glamorous way than you did. No one was grander and more soulful than you were. In his 2003 memoir, ALT, a memoir Tally focused on two of the most important women in his life, his maternal grandmother, Benny Francis Davis, and the late fashion editor, Diana Vreeland. <laughs> Benny Francis Davis may have looked like a typical African-American domestic worker to many of the people who saw her on her ordinary day, but I who could see her soul could also see her secret that even while she wore a hairnet and work clothes to scrub toilets and floors, she wore an invisible diadem, he wrote. His relationship with Vogue started at Duke University where his grandmother cleaned dorms. Tally would walk to campus in his youth to read the magazines. And they go on. There's a lot more about Tally. Musician now. Let's speak about some musician. News about musician. And this is the dead. This is a serious thing. Serious news. Grandier's veteran music all around her. Mikey Trump, who has died. The Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport, Oliver Grange has said it has left her feeling very sad as we say goodbye to yet another of our outstanding musician, Mikey Chung, who has passed away. Blessed. Chung, who was 71, died in hospital on Tuesday, December 28th from cancer. Mike established himself as one of Jamaica's great musical all-rounders with his proficiency on a number of instruments. And so he was always in demand, playing with many of the top bands and groups from as early as his student days at, at what is now the University of Technology, UTEC. Mid-career, Mike decided to formalize, familiarize his musical training by attending the Jamaican School of Music, Outline Grange. What many regard as Mike's finest horror was his time with the Now Generation Band, which also included his brother, the late Garfrey Chung. No Generation was the backing band for artists such as Dennis Brown, Ernie Smith, Abyssinians, Pablo Moses, and Peter Touch. Their work in the recording studio was done as well for top producers such as Duke Reed, Lee Scratch Perry, Bonnie Lee, Harry J. Moodix, Matador, Randis, Federal, Byron Lee, and Joe Gibbs. Deservedly, Mikey was honored by the Jamaica Reggae Industry Association, Jiria, for outstanding contribution to the country's music. I extend my sincerest condolence to his daughter, three brothers, 
friends and associate and the music community. Rest in peace, Mikey Chung. The way you play your various instruments has contributed in no small measure to the respect that Jamaican music enjoys across the world. Grange further stated. Rabbi Shakespeare. Rabbi Shakespeare that died with people. Let's touch on Rabbi Shakespeare's story. The music fraternity is mourning the loss of another of his legend as Rabbi Shakespeare, best known as one of half of the production do it and reggae rhythm section for Sly and Rabbi, died on Wednesday. He reportedly died in a hospital in Florida following kidney surgery. He was 68 and had been hailing for some time. No wonder why we never hear nothing about him. No wonder why we, we yeah, we stop hearing about him for, for quite a little while. Minister of Entertainment Olivia Grange was one of the first to acknowledge the work of a man she called her brother. I am in shock and sorrow after just receiving the news that my friend and brother, the legendary bassist Rabbi Shakespeare, has died, the minister said in a post on social media. Rabbi and Sly Dunbar, the drummer, as Sly and Rabbi, have been among Jamaica's greatest musicians. The fantastic team took bass playing and drumming to the highest level as they made music as a, as a group and for many artists locally and internationally. Grange continued. She said she said she's we lost will be a huge blow to the local music fraternity. Rabbi loss will be felt several both home and abroad. My condolence to those he left behind. Love you. Rabbi, she included. Known efficiently by some as Bass Spear, he was widely regarded as one of the most influential reggae bassists of all time and was known for his iconistic and creative use of electronics and production effects. Shakespeare worked with the who's of reggae artists such as Bunny Wheeler, Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaac, Sugar Mine, Black Uhura, among others. He also worked with international acts Cindy Lauper, Bob Dylan, Mick Jagger, and Joe Cocker. Prior to his involvement in Sly and Rabbit, he was a member of the Sessions Group the, revel the revolutionaries and the ag aggravators. <laughs> Legendary Bunny Wheeler has died. How long ago did you know that Bunny Wheeler died? Let's find out. Regular Legendary Bunny O'Reilly. Livingstone, popularly known as Bunny Wheeler, Bunny Livingstone, and most affectionately as Jabby, has died. He died at the Medical Association Hospital in Kingston on Tuesday. He was 73. Bunny Wheeler died. Bunny Wheeler was the lone frontline surviving member of the iconic group, the Whalers, and has long been standard out figure on both local and international reggae stages. Prime Minister Andrew Wilness paid tribute to Whaler, calling him a respected elder, statesman of the Jamaican music scene in a series of tweets. This is a great loss of Jamaica and for the reggae Undoubtedly, Bunny Wheeler will always be remembered for his sterling contribution to the music industry and Jamaica's culture, he wrote. Born in 1944, Jabi was a singer, songwriter, and percussionist who, along with Bob Marley and Peter Touch, were, mem were members of the Wailers. Me Me Marley died in 1981 of a brain tumor at 36 
year old and Tosh was fatally shot in Jamaica in 1987 at 42 years old. A three-time Grammy Award winner, Bunny is considered one of the long-time standard bearers of Jamaica music. In 2017, he was confirmed with the, he was confirmed with the order of Mary Owen, the fourth highest honor in Jamaica for his contribution to popular music. Strike when he strike he died to my people. Can you believe it? Unbelievable! Don't. Bunny Strackle, my God, this is unbelievable. Legendary reggae producer Edward Bunny Strackle Lee Sr. has died. Lee passed away Tuesday between 1 and 2 p.m. after suffering a cardiac arrest at an undisclosed hospital in the corporate area. He was 79 at the time of his passing. The family was shocked. Up by the family was shaken up by the veteran's sudden death, even though he had been ailing for some time. Yes, it is true, said Arnett Wong Lee, mother of four of Bonnie Striker Lee's children, in response to a loop news query. The doctor said it was a respiratory failure, like a heart failure. He had gone to change his catheter at the hospital. He had a full-time nurse with him. His son, Edward Jr., had gone to buy food. When Edward Jr. called the nurse to check on him, she was crying, and then the doctor called him to say he should come now, so immediately he knew something was wrong. She explained. Eventually, she joined Edward Jr. and Kirk, another son she shares with Lee, and they were given the sad news. Her other daughter, Tony Ann, and Bonnie Lee were equally devastated by their father's passing. It's rough, striker Ed Edward Jr., not taking it so well. That's why I am talking on his phone now. They were very, very close. He is not talking to anyone. He can't hold conversation without breaking down, she said. Bunny Strackley was diabetic and had a number of ailments. He had been hospitalized for six weeks, then was discharged for four days, and then the family had to rush him back to the hospital. Lee was one of the most seminal figures in reggae music. In addition to dub size and instrumental, Lee was among first producers to realize the potential of reusing the same rhythm tracks with different singers and DJs, partly out of necessity. The latter half of the 1970 saw Lee working with some of Jamaica's top new talent, including Linval Thompson, Levi Smart, and Barry Brown. Wow. He began his career working as a record plugger for Duke Reed, Treasure Eyes label. In 1962, later farming the same duties for Leslie Kong, Lee then moved into producing record. His first hit record coming in Roy Shirley music field on the WRL in 1967. Lee then set his own, <clears throat> Lee then set his own Lee's record. First release being Floyd Jackson, Listen to the Beat. He produced further hits during 1967 and 1968 by Lester Sterling and Stranger Code. Derek Morgan, Slim Smith, and The Unique, My Conversation, Pat Kelly, and The Sensations, <coughs> excuse me, 
establishing him as one of Jamaica's top producers. Between 1969 and 1972, he produced classic hits including Slim Smith, Everybody Needs Love, Max Romeo, Wet Dream, Delroy Wilson, Better Must Come, Eric Donaldson, Cherry O Baby, and John Old. Stick by me, oh Cherry O Cherry, stick by me. You know them big songs there? Eh? Yeah, man. Bonnet, Striker Lee, man. Yeah, man. Lee was a pioneer of the United Kingdom reggae market, licensing his production to the Palmer Brothers, Palmer, and Trojan Records in early 1970s. In 1983, Lee produced the first album by future star Beanie Man titled Invisible Beanie Man. Wow, unbelievable. The 10 year old DJ Wanda introduced Beanie Man album with Beanie Man. In 2008, he was awarded the Order of Distinction by the Jamaica government in recognition of his contribution to Jamaican music. In 2013, a documentary film was released, I Am the Gargon. Bonnie Striker Lee and the Roots of Reggae, directed by Diggory Kenry, telling the story of Lee's life from childhood to present, featuring Jurai, then it's featuring Jurai. Dennis Al Capone, Lee Scott Perry, Sly and Rabbit, Johnny Clark, John Old, and others. In March 2015, a fire at Lee's Gar Gargon Entertainment Studio destroyed equipment with a value estimated by Lee at Jamaica $100 million. Bobby Digital, unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Iconic dancer producer Bobby Digital died at 59. Robert Bobby Digital Dixon, one of dancehall reggae's most successful music producers, died on Tuesday at age 59. He reportedly succumbed to a kidney-related illness after he had gone to do his weekly dialysis treatment at the hospital and was eventually admitted and later died. Reggae music has been plunged, plunged. Reggae music has been plunged into mourning at the untimely passing of a man widely regarded as a titan whose distinctive style defined the com computerized era of dance life no other. Dixon owned Digital B label, which produced seminal dancehall greats like Shabarangs and Sizzler. He was one of the greatest producers ever in dancehall and reggae music. He was a great colleague and a great friend and one of the most brilliant minds in reggae music. He was the one who brought Shabarangs to the world. And he started off Garnet Silk 2. Bobby just had a distinctive feel for music, a brilliant mind, and he was truly one of Reggae's greats. He will be missed. Bonnie Lee, head of Trojan Record, told Loop News Dixon was given his nickname Bobby Digital by a friend colleague Bonnie Lee in the early 1980s. He was also in good spirit. I remember he used to cut dubs and jammies and I asked him to engineer a Pat Kelly album and he used a digital team and did a great job. Mommy started calling Bobby Digital. He said, Originally from Olympic Garden in Kingston, Dixon was a prodigy of engineer producer Light King Jamis. 
James, with whom he started his career as an audio engineer. In the 1980s, Dixon helped stylize the computerized phase of Jamaican music as an accomplished digital engineer. So Bobby Digital is the one who bringing the digital thing in you know, the regular music thing. Can you remember back then there used to be live bands and things you know, and bringing the computerized things and bust a whole new general music. Dixon established himself as a top flight producer with a raft of hit songs by Chaparangs starting in the late 1980s with Peeny Peeny and follow up that with a, a veritable tsunami of dancehall anthems such as Just Reality, Live Blanket and Wicked in a Bed. Wow. Other hit songs produced by Dixon were Till I Am Late Miss, Boudreaux Bantan, Coco T, Admiral Tibet, Serious Time, Garnet Silk is Growing, and Sisla, Black Woman and Child. In the late 1990s, he began to work with a raft of Rastafarian reggae artists such as Marvin Heritage, Sisla, Anthony B, and Richie Spice. He was the producer of Sisla, critically acclaimed Black Woman and Child album of the late 1990s and Marvin Heritage's breakthrough album, Protect Us Jack. I I had I had let me stop stick up in there if you had to I had I did little work just a little bit of work at um at Bobby Bobby Digital Studio. I I worked on a song called um Shalomite uh, Shalomity Come back come back Oh the Shalomity come back come back come and me gives my you come back come back Oh the Shalomites come back come back come and me look for you What a woman look lovely what a woman look sweet I would do it Yo I gotta find that record I'm not find it because you know some of some of the old music them were produced because you know um yeah man, I did, I did some work there and, and that, was, that was just bringing it back, just bringing back my memory. That's where I recorded that song. Trust me, one of my first early songs where I had, have no directions. I had no direction, didn't know where it was going. I just, just was going into music, headless, you know, just consciously getting myself out there and, you know, um, I was working with a, a musician called Danny Marshall. Big up Danny Marshall. Danny Marshall took my places, man. Trust me. I worked with some good people, but the struggle, the struggle, the struggle was hard. And, you know, didn't allow me to be consistent. You know, my people, life, life has given me a really a hard time for a long time. Trust me. Trust me. So, but, you know, God is good. I'm still here, you know. And still going, and we still intend to make a mark in the music industry. Even if I, one day before me passed away, trust me, me not give up the band. I me mean, not chip it my talent on my bed and pack it and say, all right, yeah, it is. Me hold now. No, not stopping. All right, head on. Same way. All right, Dixon has produced more recent albums for Richie Spice, Anthony B. Marvin Heritage, Chesley Deck, Rash Shiloh, Louis Culture, LMS, Mikey Spice, and Norris Man. And the same rhythm that I, that I worked on at a Bobby Digital Studio was, was, it was created, the rhythm was made at um, Anthony B. Studio. Yeah, out there on the boulevard. Same Danny Marshall took me there and made the rhythm there. See, yeah man, so big up to Danny Marshall. Brother, blessed love man. Yeah, man. All right. He also produced the uh, Don't Have to Dread for Marvin Heritage. The breakthrough song and album by Marvin Heritage. Brother Bobby Digital Dixon is survived by his wife, Marva, three children, two grandchildren, and sister, and Three brothers like me. I have three children too. You see, we see most of the artists and producers have three children. All right, so um, Joe is another one too. 
reggae icon Bob Andy has died. Unbelievable. Trust me. Reggae icon Bob Andy, one of Jamaica's most celebrated songwriters, has died. He passed away Friday morning about 8 a.m. Lou News was informed. Jamaica's great songwriter is no longer with us. Promoter Michael Bennett conceptualized of the popular Heineken starter and series confirmed. Keith Bob Andy Anderson had reportedly been healing for some time before he finally passed away. Bob Andy had his first solo hit record in 1967. I have got to go back home. Oh, I've got to go back home oh, in the morning. You remember that? Yeah, man. Which was followed by Desperate Love, Feeling Soul, Unchained, and Two Experience. Yes, I am. He also composed songs for other reggae artists, including I Don't Want to See You Cry for Ken Boo and feel like jumping truly and melody life for Marcia Griffith. Wow. He had several hits in late 1960s, including Going Home, Unchained, Feeling Soul, My Time, The Ghetto Stays in My Mind, and Feel the Feeling, some of these, and his 1992 hit, Fire burning have come to be regarded as reggae standard and several have been covered several times by other artists. In the early 1970s, he, record, he recorded with Griffiths as Bob and Marcia initially, initially for Studio One, but later on the producer Ari J. Johnson's tutoring Tutelage. They had a major UK hit with Young, Gifted, and Black. And he recorded Pied Piper, another top 20 UK hit with Griffiths before they tour again. Yeah, because I, I think I remember they say he and my mom said Griffiths was boyfriend and girlfriend. Anyway, this illusion with Illustri in 1978, Andy put his music career on hold and after taking up creative dancing with the National Dance Theatre Company, concentrated on his career as an actor starring in the film Children of Babylon in 1980s and The Mighty Queen in 1989. He, re he relocated to London where he worked as a producer and record with Mad Professor and later to Miami. The Jamaican government conferred order of distinction in the rank of commander, CD, and the singer. In October 2006, for his contribution to the development of Jamaican music. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Wow. So much people have passed away. I'm just going to go briefly over these. Some of these I'm not going to go as in depth as I went in the previous. So, former or director general J.P. Morgan has died. Veteran journalist Andrew Green passed away. Barry Moncrief dies at 78. Grange Hale, outstanding dancer. Well, that's it for now, my people. So much, so much people passed away. So much musical icon, actor, writer, producer, radio professionalist, journalist. So much people died in, in, in such a short period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you see us i mean in just in just this year july alone something is going on but they left us a whole bunch of legacy work that we can work upon and coming to my mind now yeah man i can yeah i can i can i, I really i really need to have the time to cover some of these work even just even just from the title just 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 write songs from them title from the title that them left just write some i need a producer i need a producer but i'm gonna hire a team believe me so my people thanks for watching and thanks for supporting and if you can support your donation because i have a catalog of music to get out there my people i can't just put them out there so I need rhythms to be built. I need to buy and really get my own damn stage. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm right now. I just came off working off a song. Yeah, just this was one of the, this was the last one I produced was this one. I, I produced a song called um, "Coming Money, 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 Money." Uh, which year was that? 2017 or 2016? Somewhere, yeah, I produced that song uh, and the rhythm and everything. So I'm just working back over these rhythms and working back over these songs. But you know, we need new creative works to continue. You know, seeing your man to go. So he's a good rhythm producer. Uh, he, he forward, man, forward. We can work together and get some work out there. But stay well and tight, you know. Yeah, man, we're going to hire a team right now to promote the music, to get our music on some mixtapes and get our videos in some 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 category and some something that we need in that we, where I, as an artist, cannot go. You know, we can't do it all by myself, so we have to hire a team. So if you can donate some money to this towards this before Daniel Marshall passed away, I would be so grateful. Yeah, man. The best is still yet to come, my people. I'm tired, stay away. I'm like balance, and I will see you in the next vlog. I'll continue that thing. I'll continue with that thing. Continue putting out the, the news to the item scene so the item can gravitate to some of the things that are going because not everybody I get them. It's not everybody is getting them. And right now, my, my vlog is reaching to even Africa. You know, see, yeah, man, easy to the to, to, that's the Caribbean, the Bahamas. Understand me? Lots of places the blog is so just support the thing, put a like on the thing so it, YouTube can refer it in many different rooms so people can get a whole lot of things, you understand me? And, and, and the same thing, you know, you know we're sliding some old music on the blog so people can get a year, year to year. So, you know, um, we need to get them on iTunes and all that. We need to get the downloads um, uh, 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 on YouTube and no, that's what they are. So it's just great managerial thing. You want to get that about this thing. So we can get the news out to the people. Still seeing. Yeah, I believe right now, I'm stuff I mean, I believe right now I'm a very, very um significant um artist, relevant artist right now, where speak because most of my fans are elder fans. Understand me? We now nah sing the songs and what the youth them a sing. Understand me? The youth them a chop hard with it. Them a chop some fire song. Trust me, it's like a, it's like it's, it's like a venom broken back. Them a spit out of them mouth. You, know? you can't stop it the week. And you them a chop hard, you know. You know, see, the cartel come and change the game, you know, with them writing the writing style. With a lot of cartel styles adapted from the American rapper. You know? They take them, take some, them, the man, them take some things and, and bring them on them and bring up some things with the man and them lyrics and them things. You can't deny them. You can't not deny them. Trust me. If 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 if, if they would have only fixed that fashion and take out some of the some of the some of the violence and some of the killing thing because you know, but we understand them have to kind of balance it out that way because when you deal with the music business now, you find out say a lot of a lot of haters rise, right? A lot of haters, you understand me? With, 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 with microscope and everything, and I'm ready to put it down. So, you know, we understand why they do these things, but 
you know, you, you, you do it and then you have to continue, continue, and, and the thing where it has spread, you know, it has reached other young, young, young man and young woman who will come up and adapt to it. So by the time you, you get, you reach that stage and already put it down, you know, you create another generation of it. Yeah, man. Everything. So clean up the music, make it, make, make the music substantial. Make it, that you can make it very substantial, you know. If you make it substance, substantial, the music will last for a very long time. Since I saw the item for do, do the music. But big up all the young man, then big up all the young man, then saying, I love all the young man, I love all the young woman, just like how I love my own children, then saying, Yeah, man, blessed love Daniel Marshall here from the infrastructure work. Hope you did enjoy some of these moves. And just give the video a like, share, and subscribe. You don't know, hit the notification bell so you can get the latest update on the Jack of Video. See, yeah, man, I work the thing I know because we need the revenue to go because we desperate for the, desperate for the money. We desperate for the money. See, once I have the money in my account, I can buy, I can purchase the rhythm, I can lease the rhythm from some producers. See, I can, I can hire the team that I need to hire to get the music out there on the mixtape and on the radio station and in the radio and in the television and cable station and all these things in yeah man blessed love boom shot